In Australia's unpredictable climate, farmers have always had to be flexible and innovative. With this in mind, a major study was established to help inform how to use water more effectively and to achieve a balance between agricultural and environmental water needs. The project, called Farms Rivers Markets, included a research team from the University of Melbourne, Monash University and the Murray-Darling Freshwater Research Centre. The aim of this project is to drive the available water further, uh, both in the current climate, uh, in future climates and in the future policy environment. The Farms Project sought to demonstrate firstly that dairy farming systems could produce the same amount of milk for half the irrigation water, which we did, in horticultural and viticultural systems through automated irrigation that we could dramatically increase the quality of produce, so therefore increase profitability. And finally, in the dryland cropping systems, we sought to explore whether the changes in the seasonality of rainfall could be exploited by trying summer cropping in northeastern Victoria without diminishing from the traditional success of winter cropping. And this has proved to be a very interesting experiment. Research was conducted in the Broken River catchment, as it has many characteristics and management issues in common with Australia's most important agricultural region, the Southern Murray-Darling Basin. Farming system and water efficiency experiments were conducted at the University of Melbourne's Dookie campus, near Shepparton in Victoria and on surrounding farms. Essentially we set up uh, six treatments of uh, different summer crops. One was essentially what we used to uh, always do with um, controlling uh, stubble fallow and then we had five other summer crops. We proved that we could get summer crops through to harvest and obviously that was because of the amount of rainfall we had but we've had a few seasons like that in the last few years where we've had more rainfall during the summer than we've had during the winter. So for us that means we can turn off crops during the summer at a profit uh, and then still hopefully double crop back into a winter for, for cash flow in the next six months. The team also developed and evaluated novel water ordering and delivery systems. These provide new opportunities for cooperation between agricultural and environmental water users and boost annual agricultural production values by up to 20 to 30 per cent. The project also looked at automating water delivery for a faster service. We looked at automatic control systems because we expected they'd be able to increase the efficiency of water delivery. Automatic control systems are a little bit like the cruise control on your car. They try to maintain a certain flow and water level in the river. One of the important aspects of flows in rivers is that during summer they're naturally quite low and this is when some types of fish breed. Having high flows causes problems. Uh, it disrupts that breeding cycle. So automated control, one of the benefits could be reducing those flow rates in summer. We looked at the sharing of water between agriculture and the environment, and we used a modelling approach that both included detailed modelling of the water flows through the system, detailed modelling of the population dynamics of fish in the rivers, and detailed production and economic modelling of the farm outputs. Hopefully that informs a compromise in the sharing of water between agriculture, the environment and potentially other users in the basin.